Hi, I'm Peter Sidwell and welcome to my quick kitchen. Today's recipe is a beautiful feta spinach frittata and we're going to serve that up with a little red onion and carrot slaw dressed in orange and olive oil. All for a fiver for four people. It's delicious, vegetarian, healthy and it is easy to make. Now, let's get on with the base first. So I have got my pan on my trusty cast aluminium masterclass, four and a half litre shallow pan, perfect for frittatas, because you can cook it, the edges get hot, goes in the oven, brilliant. In with an onion, all right? All chopped and ready, white onion. Now I've also got a clove of garlic, crush it, and just run your knife through it. All right, this is where we're gonna get the base of flavor. So that goes in. Salt. Now it is important to season the onions with salt because that will draw the moisture out and allow the caramelization to occur. Right. Let's give it a stir. Love the smell of onions cooking. Oh, such a good smell. Onion and garlic. Yeah, it's a good combination. Oh, so good. Right. A little bit of dried oregano in there. Okay, good dried herb. There aren't many that are good, but oregano, mint, tarragon, that's about it for me. They are the best dried herbs. The rest of them go fresh. Get them growing in your garden. Right, let's get that cooking. Now, spinach. This is frozen spinach, and all I've done is leave it to thaw in the fridge but I have had to squeeze all the moisture out, okay? It's really important that you get rid of all the moisture because spinach retains so much water and water will be your frittata's enemy, okay? So it's really important that you get rid of every bit of moisture you can. And I'll even, just when you think you've got rid of it all, you haven't. Keep squeezing, all right? Thank you. Keep going. It holds so, I mean, it's delicious. Spinach is full of iron, it's really good for you. Vitamin C, it's a great vegetable, but it, it does hold an awful lot of water. And having it frozen in, is really, really useful. I mean, you can get bags of it from the supermarket because a lot of people eat it as a salad and stuff like that. But having it frozen in the freezer, in like blocks, is great for adding for things. It's really useful. It's cost effective, you only need the amount you need. You don't end up wasting the other half of the bag and things like that. So it is, it's a good vegetable to have in the freezer. Okay, so if you want this recipe, make sure you go to www.petersidwell.com. You will find the recipe there for all of my Peter Sidwell's Quick Kitchen. Now, Quick Kitchen is all about quick, versatile, cost-effective recipes for feeding a family of four at the moment. I've developed them all to be under a fiver or thereabouts. Emily has very kindly given me about 10 pence leeway, 10, 20 pence maybe, um, depending on the recipe. But this one has come in at £4.93, okay? So we are bang under budget, and that is for your frittata and your slaw to go with it, okay? Loads of protein in your eggs, loads of veg richness, vitamins, really good for you, okay? Can this be in like cold or hot? Yeah, totally. Frittata's great because you can eat it hot out of the oven, you can chill it down, have it for pat lunch, you know, on, on anything like that. So it is, being able to make a good frittata is important for using up leftovers of that fridge because you could just raid the fridge shelf and create a beautiful frittata. You know, I, I like um, chorizo and red pepper and olive and goat's cheese in mine. I love that. It's really, really good. Um, but you, like we're going spinach, feta, classic combination, very Greek, um, and a little bit of parmesan for that extra richness. So you can kind of go where you like with it. It's really useful. Right, they're just starting to take on a little bit of colour there now. So what we can do is turn our attention to our egg mixture. Okay, so eggs. We're going eight eggs because we're serving four people. So that is two per person. In my maths, is that what you reckon, Emily? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we have free range eggs. Room temperature, really important. Now, do you keep your eggs in the fridge? I do not, yeah, do you? I don't either. No. My grandma does, but I've never understood why people keep them in the fridge. 
I don't know. I, I think the government has maybe changed their mind at some stage throughout the course of history. Uh, and it used to be a fridge and then it became a non-fridge. Um, if you're baking, it's really important that your eggs are at room temperature because they are more elastic when they're at room temp than they are when they're fridge cold. So in with a little bit of seasoning, not much salt in this because we've got, we've got feta going in and we've salted our onions, okay? So we don't need much, but we do need a decent amount of black pepper in there. In with our parmesan, okay? And then in with our feta. So I've got 60 grams of feta and I'm just going to crumble it up like that. Okay. Right, let's check these onions. Just starting to get a little bit of colour now, which is exactly where we want them to be. So I reckon one more minute of that and they are done. Now Let's get this whisked up, okay? So we whisk up our eggs, feta, parmesan, seasoning. Put that to one side. Now our spinach, I'm gonna chop it because I'm gonna whisk it together and I want it to evenly distribute all the way through. If you just leave it in chunks, it's okay, but it won't distribute very well. Okay, so in with our spinach. Right. Onions, they can come out. I'm just going to pop them straight in this board. I'm going to use the same pan. Save on washing up, which we always like that, because I do all the washing up in here. Don't right, Emily? Yep. In with a little bit more olive oil, okay? And now we are ready for our frittata. Give it a quick whisk. Get it all mixed through. There we go. It's gonna be nice, this. And then pour it in. Now, if you had any, had any leftover potatoes, tomatoes, whatever you fancy, cut them and put them in now, okay? So I'm gonna take my cooked onions and I'm just gonna scatter those in now, carefully, because they're still a little bit warm. And then we'll spread them out, get them all nice and evenly distributed. And because we've fried off these onions, they've sort of They've become a lot sweeter and milder and they'll just blend in lovely and give some real sort of substance to this. So we'll just spread those onions out. Right, I'm just going to run my spatula all the way around the edge. You can just see it starting to cook around the sides. And this is why I use this lovely deep cast aluminium pan because the heat gets up around the edges and as the frittata souffles up in the oven, it all cooks around the edge and you get all those lovely golden bits. So whack this in the oven. We've got this at 165. That's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes, okay? So while that's going on, we're going to make a little slaw, okay? So slaws are just a posh name for coleslaw, really. But we're going to make a dish a little bit different. So I've got a little bit of orange cordial from the kids, all right? And then I'm going to add a little bit of white vinegar just to make it a little bit more acidic because it's cordial at the end of the day. I tried to use fresh orange, but I couldn't get it on budget. I couldn't get that price in. So I had to think a little bit more creatively. So I went for a bit of orange cordial, a bit of vinegar and a bit of olive oil. And that is going to make our dressing. And we generally go two thirds oil to one third um, acid. So a little bit of orange squash, and vinegar. Give that a little whisk together. And that's going to be the dressing for our slaw. Okay, so we've got red onion here. Let's grab a knife. And then we're going to slice this as thinly as possible. 
And the idea really is to have a slaw that's kind of raw and crunchy and crisp that counters the richness of the frittata. So slice your onions as thinly as possible because we want them to sort of pickle a little bit in the, in the dressing. And once they've done that, we'll then add the carrot as well. Okay, so in with our onions. So we use the red onion, it's a little sweeter, a little nicer to eat raw. And then just scrunch it in the dressing. And that acidity will penetrate into the onions and just sort of pickle them just gently. It'll give a really nice tang. Okay. Right, frittata's in the oven. My onions are soaking in the orange dressing. So we're just going to cut our carrots in half and we're going to match stick them. Now, if you aren't good enough with a knife, grate them. That's okay. You will still get the same flavour. You just get a slightly different texture. It's not as crispy and crunchy if you grate it, but you know, you choose what you want to do. But I'm just going to chop mine into nice, fine little matchsticks. So once you've chopped them all into like really fine matchsticks like that, just chuck them into your onion mixture. Okay, let's get that in there and then we'll just mix it together. And now you've got this kind of tangy, crunchy, veggie slaw, it'll be absolutely delicious and it'll work really, really well with the frittata. Okay. Frittata's been in the oven about 12, 13 minutes and it has just started to souffle. Can you see that, Emily? Look, because it's non-stick, it's moving about nicely. So it's definitely worth having the right pan. So all I need to do is turn this over. Wish me luck. You ready, Emily? Yeah. High risk, this. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Hey? Eh? That's impressive. That is impressive, isn't it? You sound surprised. I am. Okay, so, frittata, and then we've got our beautiful slaw with carrot, orange, and red onion, which is going to be absolutely delicious with this. Grab a knife and just cut it into wedges, okay? If I just cut a wedge here and we can show you. There you go, look at that. A beautiful spinach feta frittata with carrot, orange, and red onion slaw. If you want the recipe, go to petersidwell.com. You will find it there. And for more recipes like this, tune in on a Saturday morning when we cook up some amazing recipes, perfect for the weekend. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.